First, I want to thank Mr. Bouchon for working with me to find a bipartisan path forward on supply chains. Together, we found a way to create a comprehensive, credible, and robust supply chains package that will strengthen both our economy and our national security. In this committee, we've seen the consequence of weakened supply chains, from drug shortages before the pandemic to masks and gowns during the pandemic, from lumber and glass shortages impacting housing affordability and availability, to chips and minerals that power our consumer electronics, defense systems, cell phones, and cars. Bottom line, supply chains touch the lives of every American, whether they know it or not. And strengthening those supply chains means making our lives better and products cheaper. Today, after months of good faith bipartisan negotiations, we are considering the Bipartisan Promoting Resilient Supply Chains Act that will help us map, monitor, predict, and strengthen supply chains. It will make more critical goods right here at home and create good paying jobs while lowering consumer costs. The legislation I am proudly supporting today incorporates all of the key elements of the Supply Chains Act, legislation that I am proud to have co-sponsored with Representatives Dingell, Kelly, and Wild. That legislation garnered the support of over 160 organizations from labor to the chamber. With this amendment, today's bipartisan legislation will support steady government leadership by assigning the responsibility for supply chain and American manufacturing resilience to an assistant secretary in the Department of Commerce. And I wanna extend a special note of thanks to Secretary Gina Raimondo along with the team at the Department of Commerce for their partnership and leadership on this vital issue. The bill will support American innovation and take back global leadership by setting the rules of the road with robust guidelines and best practices that will ensure American businesses are a step ahead of their competitors. Our bill will no longer position our country as passive reactionaries to a supply chain crisis or shock by mandating the creation of a national strategy that elevates supply chain resilience to the forefront of US national policy. This comes at a time when events like the war in Ukraine are increasing the price of goods for American families, or American jobs are threatened by foreign actors like China on the other side of the globe. Finally, our bill will ensure important stakeholders are consulted while the Department of Commerce does its important work, and it will ensure sensitive business information is safeguarded while maintaining the normal course of legal and judicial review. Today, we are taking action to ensure we win the global competition for our country's economic future. And the surest way to win is to follow a simple premise. If we can make it in America, then we should. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back.